I'm Rick Harsh, and this is my master class in the writing of fiction. You can skip this ad in three days. Yesterday I posted uh, myself reading a poem and Clancy reading a poem, and I would love if anybody would vote in any way for either me or Clancy and say who wrote the better poem or who wrote and read the better poem little contest. But today's class is on one of the talents that a writer needs to hone in order to become a writer. Now, I'm moving around on my balcony and uh, it's a little test, little test for all of you writers out there. Okay? In the background you see the um, the weather. Okay, here I'll put it even in the foreground. Okay, is it sunny or rainy? Okay, um, see if you can guess. If you guess that right, you're ready for the next step. I would like you to examine video, all the video available on the uh, case of Sandra Bland, who was uh, arrested for not signaling a lane change in, I can't remember, probably Texas, I don't know. I think she was from Chicago and visiting Texas. Uh, cop was white. Guess what color she was? Right. Now you're ready to move on to the third step. So uh, what happened was Sandra Bland was um, driving, and a cop was behind her, and it kind of made her, I don't know if he was going fast or whatever, but... She decided to move out of his way, but she didn't, she didn't signal the turn, you know, the lane change. So he stops her. Um, understandably, she's a little bit pissed because she knows that there's no fucking, you know, that's so, so petty. Um, I've had that happen to me. I've had uh, um, uh, cops come up on me and, you know, but I, I, I uh, um, I definitely signal if I'm going to move. Um, but, you know, I understand why you don't signal. And if you don't, you know what you're guilty of? Not signaling. Um, there was no other traffic on the road, so it was not an unsafe thing that she did. And uh, it's a rather petty thing for a cop to stop someone for. And uh, she was... Uh, quickly arrested, the situation escalated, and she was arrested, and she killed herself, they say, she hung herself on Sunday morning, uh, that was, I think it was on a Friday that she was arrested, she was going to see a judge on Monday, supposedly, um, and there's a lot of video of what was going on in the um, lockup area, not direct video, but people have been over and over and over that, and um, there's no way to tell what really happened. Um, she might have killed herself. And I know if it was, uh, if I woke up, it was about 7.30 in the morning or something on a Sunday, if I woke up locked up, surrounded by uh, racists, of a different race than me and who had complete control over my life to the point where they could pull me over for um, not signaling a lane change and then they could they, they could throw me in jail over the weekend by Sunday I might be feeling suicidal you're thinking Jesus Christ did I did I get any sleep no oh, seven o'clock fuck man not, I got a full 24 hours or more before I get out of here you know, it's just just absolute craziness, nonsense, whatever. Um, we don't know actually what went on, but but then now there is video of the um, of the arrest. This is the part where you need your um, writing. Um, oh, let's see, let's see. Is it raining or is it sunny? Now it's sunny. You're right. Okay. Ready to move on. So, observe the tape uh, from the police camera of the uh, 
conversation with Sandra Bland and the officer. She's wondering, what the fuck did I do? And he tells her that she failed to signal a lane change, and she's like, I was getting out of your way, you know. And, and uh, he's uh, he looks at her, and, you know, this is unnecessary. All he has to do is tell her what happened and give her a citation, a warning, whatever. Maybe go back to his car and, and uh, check on her car. Uh, but he's standing there. At her uh, uh, window, her car window, she's in the car, and and he says, uh, you know, you look, uh, you seem frustrated. What, you, suddenly he's a therapist? And she says, you know, something like, hey, damn right, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm frustrated. I, you know, I just signaled to get out of your way, and here I am getting, you know, a ticket for, for you know, lane change, and, you know, just... And he, and he goes, are you finished? Impatiently, like, are you finished? And she goes, yeah, I'm finished. You asked me what, what, what I, if I was frustrated, and I'm telling you why I am. And, and then, so already he's, he's you know, two, twice he said something he didn't need to say. One, you seem frustrated. You know, no, no need to engage in conversation with her about her emotions. And then when she's, he she responds, he's impatient for her to get to the end so he can be more of a dick. You know what he says next? Uh, you mind putting out your cigarette? And, <laughs> okay, so she's smoking in her own car, which is still legal. And, um, and she starts to object. And she says, I'm in my own car, you know. And he says, all right, get out of the car. And that's when he decided to arrest her. Oops, that's the part you were supposed to figure out. Damn, I gave it away. All right, well, look it all over. Look that situation over. And uh, as a writer, think about how you would uh, write that in fiction in a way that um, could somehow make me laugh. Because I'm having a really hard time with uh, finding anything to laugh about in that situation. Um... Put out your cigarette. Fuck that guy. That guy, you know, and, and so people are, the real mistake that's going on here is that people are, are wondering about her suicide, that, which is something they can't prove. What they can prove is that this guy violated uh, several uh, um, matters of police protocol when you stop a driver. It's not, not his business. He had no, no business arresting her. And um, he didn't even lose his temper. It's like, he's just, I'm, I'm going to arrest her. I'm going to get her somehow. And it just makes me want to fucking vomit. But, uh, you know, also, I would like to have that guy in a small room tie him up and just talk to him until he goes crazy. I, I, I think I could do that. Uh, just just talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Can't leave until you say, you love me. And then, no, nah, that's too easy. You just say, okay, I love you. Can I go? No, no, no. You got to convince me you love me. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's my personal thing. And if a cop stopped me and, you know, uh, and said, uh, you seem frustrated, I'd say, no, no, I'm just wondering if I could get you in a small room and force you to tell me you love me. Oh, okay, sorry. That's it. I don't mean to be psycho. I don't mean to be psycho.